having all these tools there as a as a producer it makes you the the go-to person it makes you indispensable for races so if you're just producing events to bring this platform in even if they push back and go oh we've never used that before you start saying your pictures are on here your emails are on here you're this you're that it makes you look awesome having that and it, it just makes it where you become the person that everybody goes to which is which is great for us because we're the only event producer pretty much in our area but it it really enhances us from a customer perspective them looking at us we view ourselves in partnership with our customers we're successful when you're all successful our job is to basically build technology that all of our customers can benefit from My name is Steve Bingham Hawk. I'm here with Jason Chance. I'm a project manager here at Ticket Sign Up, and Jason is the owner of TCR. And you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Yeah. So TCR Event Management is based out of Maryland. We're on the eastern shore of Maryland, but we service Maryland, Delaware, Virginia, and pretty much any place that needs us to go. We actually were born out of a multi-sport shop. So my wife and I opened a Tricycle and Run, which is a multi-sport shop about 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. And we started doing some free 5Ks and stuff like that. And then it morphed into a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And then I started mm -hmm. working with larger companies, Ironman, things like that. And eventually said, hey, we can do this. And so now we own about 30 of our own races and we help produce about 50 other races for other people, whether that's from a timing perspective or just setting up registration or just working on the course. And so tell me about, first of all, what year did you join with Run Sign Up? It would have been our, would have been our second year in. So that would have been 2012 or so, something okay. like that. All right, so almost at the very beginning with us yeah. since uh, we started about 2011. Yeah. So prior to that, with the registration provider you were using, yep. what kind of pain points or things were you looking to change or improve upon that led you to run sign up? So we were using, obviously, the big A. We were using Active. You know, they were the only ones who were really out there at the time. Yeah. And it wasn't focused on the race. It wasn't focused. There was no experience for the participants. There was nothing from our side that we could really edit. It was just... Here's this little tiny square in the middle of all of these banner ads that are all around and you had to opt out of things. Otherwise, your $25 registration was all of a sudden $50 and you were getting outside magazine and stuff for three months. And you know, it was just it wasn't focused on the customer. It wasn't focused on the race. It, it was focused on their thing that you just had a little blurb. So using the run sign up suite, I mean, we we do everything mm. from there and we. We'll go out, so one of our largest races is the Salisbury Marathon, and we actually have all of our URLs, so we bought four or five different URLs, and they all redirect directly to the Run Sign Up page. Because, you know, we've looked and we've, we've done beta testing and we've seen how many click-throughs there are and, like, what an abandon rate is and all. I mean, we dive as deep as we possibly can, and we're sitting there going, if you go to this page and then you have to click and you go to this page and then there's a little info here and a little info there, it's ridiculous. So right. everything just pushes right to the run sign up page, which we can completely edit. Mm. We we can email from it. We can do you know all of the tools that that you guys provide. We use just about everything. Can you tell me a little bit about your onboarding experience as you learned the platform and started using it initially? Yeah, I, I'll tell you the the number one thing it was it, it was experiment. It was play around. It was do so. It was do everything that we possibly could. And we originally worked with Brian. And he was great. He he brought us on. He talked to us all the time. Now we've got Sean. Sean is our, our rep, um, and he's great as well. And the biggest number one tool is, man, I really wish this could do this. And we type it in the search bar. And it's like, holy crap, it's there. <laughs> you know, It's kind of neat. And just the responsiveness. So like if we have a UX kind of idea or concept or something like that, like I'll send it off. And sometimes it's, yeah, that's on the roadmap. Other times it's like, holy crap, yeah, we can do that. So, I mean, we, you couldn't search, there wasn't a search button for like participants and bib number and stuff on the mobile app. Mm. Like, I guess that would have been right after COVID or possibly right before it. And I said something to them and they went, oh man, yeah, we could flip that on like that. And like two weeks later, it was there. I mean, just the responsiveness mm. of that is, is great. So it's a lot of trial and error. And as new things come out, we're looking at them and honestly, we're trying to break them. You know, we're, we're trying to, okay, 
email marketing version two. What can we do with this? What can't we do with this? What, what can we embed? What can't we? And we're sending emails to each other. Mm -hmm. We're still using version one for our participants, but we want to use version two. We want to use like the organizational websites and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just, I'm not done trying to break them yet. <laughs> you know, we're looking for that solution of not having to use another mail provider. So if I could send an email to every single person who raced with us last year from one thing without going and downloading participant lists, you know, mm -hmm. that's, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for, you know, the organizational websites. Once that's 100%, you know, that's going to be huge because we have TCR event management and then we have Rev3 which we own that brand as well. So, you know, it, it's we're sending people to rev3try.com and when they're clicking register, then it's taking them into, you know, the run sign up page. So again, you're you're pushing two different URLs where I would love to have one giant landing page that is controllable with all of the tools that run sign up provides. Gotcha. So out of all the tools that you've experienced with for, for so long with run sign up, are there any that stick out at you as the most useful or the most that you go to rely on to um, I guess the ability for us on a race site to change somebody, like to make those edits right then and there. And the, the integration between that and race day scoring now is, is great because we had Rev3 Williamsburg and the guy did the swim, had a horrible swim, had a horrible bike and he got done and he just went, I'm, I'm done, I'm out. And I happen to be in transition and when what's your name, what's your bib number? Great, you're an aqua bike and look, you placed third in your age group. And I did it on my phone while we were standing in transition. I mean, sure. that functionality and it pushed because we use race day scoring, mm -hmm. it pushed directly to the timer. And within thirty seconds, you know, we could see he was a podium finisher and we said, Go run across the finish line. You know? Mm -hmm. Great mm -hmm. job. So so that's great. The email tool is great. Using the replacement tags in there so that it's not a personalized email, but there's personalized data that's mm. inside of there. You guys have the CSD merge tool. That's like that hidden little thing <laughs> off on the side. <laughs> um, moving everything over last year with Rev3, when we, when we took that over, we said we're bringing everything to run sign up. So that was a huge, you know, it's a huge list of past participants coming in. And then we had to start bring in you know, this race and this race and bring it together. So like, it's, it's a really great tool when you're doing stuff like that, when you need to compile things like that. Mm -hmm. So just bringing all the races over this year, I, I think that that was, that was exceptionally helpful. And I mean, Sean helped you with that, he that did. process. He yeah. did, yeah. I mean, we're getting, we're getting good at it, but a, a lot of times now, so we have a new timer that we onboarded this year. So it's like, okay, build the race and then hit the submit button and send it in and have somebody look at it. Um, I think that's great. Mm -hmm. I mean, because I don't always have the time or you start going through and you're like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you're not really looking at it. You know, everything is, everything's great, I'm sure. And then you're like, crap, you forgot to check that button, you know, <laughs> but the guys who do it every single day, they, they see it, which is really good. Yeah. What are some of the email types that you send through the email marketing tool? If we're running a special promotion, we will go through and we'll specifically target on the email list exclude current participants, only pull in past participants. And then we send like, hey, you know, here's a special offer. Here's a this, here's a that. We use it for follow-up emails. So like, we're still waiting for our pictures to be uploaded from a race that we had on Sunday. As Soon as that comes in, we send out, you know, the kind of the wrap up. And with that, we use those replacement tags. Be sure to download your finisher certificate and here's your results. And here's where you can find your photos. And here's a, a Google survey, you know, kind of thing. So we, we use those as kind of a wrap up to see, you know, hey, we know we didn't do everything great. What can we do better? Of course. Yep. So you talked about um, sort of using the mobile responsive website yeah. on the admin side when you're out of transition, which is pretty cool. Yeah. What about using it with your team, your volunteers for uh, the race day check-in? Do you guys use that for back and pickup? We do. Mm -hmm. We do. Um, and it's really easy. It's great to train you know, the 10 volunteers that show up at five o'clock in the morning, you're like, all you're doing is typing in their name. Um, we, we've tried it with the phone. Some people are a little hesitant about using their own phone or, you know, if you've got tablets, you're, you're relying on that technology. Most people are comfortable. We get Chromebooks, you know, they're, mm -hmm. they're bulletproof, yeah. you know, get a mouse and they, they can go right through it. Um, we did a big race last year in Baltimore and we checked in, I want to say we checked in like 950 people in like 45 minutes. 
um, which was good with a team of six people that 20 minutes before we started, I went, there's how you do it. Um, and it freaked them out because it's dynamic bib assignment. So they're literally sitting there with a stack of bibs and they're like, oh God, I'm out of bibs. And you just hand them more stuff. And like, well, well it's not the same order. Just, There's just, no name on these. Just type yeah. numbers. <laughs> just type numbers. It's fine. Um, having, having all these tools there as a, as a producer, it makes you the, the go-to person. It makes you indispensable for races. So if you're just producing events to bring this platform in, even if they push back and go, oh, we've never used that before, you start saying, your pictures are on here, your emails are on here, you're this, you're that. It makes you look awesome. Um, it, it really does, and from a race, like when you're producing it, just the inventory control on giveaways, like that blows people's mind. That you're like, when the 51st person tries to pick a large shirt and we put in their 50 shirts, that they're not gonna get it. Like they, you know, and they, they love that. So right. um, having, having that, and it, it just makes it where you become the person that everybody goes to, which is which is great for us because we're the only event producer pretty much in our area. But it, it really enhances us from a customer perspective, them looking at us. Sure. And then you've worked with nonprofits yeah. and charities. Uh, have you used the donations tool, we fundraising, have. team fundraising? Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, um, so we, we pretty much we find one group to, to open for every single race for donations. So we're always saying, you know, hey, whether they know it or not, they're gonna get a check at the end of this. Um, so the do donations are good. The team fundraising, um, there's a particular race that it's a school and pretty much they fund a couple of programs specifically from their, from, from this run that they do. Um, and their team fundraising, I mean, it's 50, $60,000 um, and they love it. And mm. we, you know, we'll go and say, okay, you, Till you get to five members, it's this much, and then after that, then it, then the, so the team pricing kind of thing, or the donations, and so we use swag rewards, we use the monetary rewards, we use absolutely everything when you're talking about you know registration. That's great. Um, the fundraising stuff, we we'd love to see for fundraising the swag rewards kind of linked to that as well. Once you got to a certain point. Mm. Um, and I know that that's in the pipeline because it's it's still you know it's the same kind of thing. Um, it's just transferring it over there. So, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I mean we've we've had great success with it, and it's nice to have that donate button. And when you have an actual engaged charity partner who is pushing and saying, you know, hey, this is a benefit for us. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's much more helpful than just being like, you know, give fifty bucks and we'll give it to the local YMCA. Right, you know, that kind of thing. So, That's what I like about the, the milestones is that you, you can uh, reiterate what is that money is actually going towards with those milestones to yep. say, hey, you just uh, raised $500 and that is going towards painting a house that would have a for yes. humanity, right? Yep. Um, so, or you can let them know what swag item they've, they've earned. Yep. So, that's great. Yeah. Um, if someone uh, called you up and said they were considering to move to give sign and run type, and so we can chat with our people here that yep. are watching online, what would, what would you tell them if they're considering the move over to run sign up? I, I honestly, I, I tell them that it, it's great, it's amazing, it can do whatever you want. Their biggest pain points are always, so we just had the YMCA's of Maryland move to run sign up last year with the turkey trots. Um, and their biggest pain point was they use Classy as their registration platform, which integrates in with their camps and all that kind of stuff. So they are, for a turkey trot, they had six, 7,000 people signed up and they never turned on gender. So we were literally sitting there like, that looks like a guy's name, that looks like a girl's name. It was stressful, now it's funny, but, but <laughs> prior to that, it was not funny at all. So we used check-in. You know, and I'm sitting there going, it's an editable field now. And it helped us push them to, to come over to. We were like, this is what this company does. Mm. So Brian actually talked to them for quite a few years, um, I think. And then finally last year, they switched over to Run Sign Up, mm -hmm. which was great. And we tried to get them to do some of their other camps and stuff through there. So it's finding the integration. How can we get that data? How can we make it flow? And at that high level, I call Brian. And mm -hmm. I, I say, hey, this is somebody you guys need to talk, you know, and then just let me know which way you're going kind of thing. But we become, because again, we're, we become the industry, we're the professional in the area. And we say, this is the great way to go. And they, they typically will come that way. But if it's something with data integration, you know, it's, that's a Brian, that's a, that's a high level kind of 
push and we're we're right there to support but mm -hmm. yeah but i mean everybody that we talk to th there's nobody who just goes no absolutely not i'm not i'm not using that um, because of all the tools and all the stuff that they can see mm -hmm. they they trust what we're doing sure yeah well if you liked uh, our conversation today please like this video and uh, subscribe to our channel thanks man Appreciate thank you it. yeah <laughs>